think in all parts of, of biathlon, focus is really important. So when you're going hard, it takes a lot of focus to go hard when you're skiing and to focus on technique. And then as I get closer to the shooting range, um, you know, as I'm getting ready to shoot, I will focus on a few different things. So one is how hard am I breathing? How does my body feel? I might go a little bit easier on the way into the range um, just to make sure that I have control over my breathing. Um, I'm still gonna be breathing really hard, but I want it to not be totally out of control. Once I get into the range, it's really trying just not to think about anyone else, you know? So don't think about how you've done so far. Don't think about what anyone else is doing. Just think about what do I need to do? So there's my target. And what do I need to do to just make sure that my, that it, my body feels good and that um, I'm taking my best shot each time? When I was skiing, I was focusing on skiing. I was focusing on ski technique. And as I approached the range, only right as I got, got ready to the shooting mat, I'd be like, all right, it's time to shoot. A good practice for biathlon is for each athlete to develop a plan with a consistent procedure and rhythm that they're gonna follow as they shoot. Regardless of whether the shot is a hit or miss, they stick to that plan and follow through the five shots. I recommend taking a consistent number of breaths in between each shot and sticking to that number. And that will keep the athlete from rushing a shot or holding too long on a shot, both of which can cause misses. If you do miss, continue with your plan, taking a consistent number of breaths and moving to the next target. After the last shot, the athlete opens the bolt to make sure the rifle's unloaded. You know, for me, I'll have certain focuses. Um, probably, usually it'll be about my breathing or my trigger squeeze, being really, really gentle on the trigger. And so I'll kind of run through a few of those things in my head before I get into the range. It's like the breathing becomes what defines the way that I'm shooting. And I, when I'm in prone position especially, I'm using my breathing essentially to get myself aimed on target. You can practice just any time. It could be after a workout when you're like, right after you've just stressed yourself, or it could just be like lying in bed. You could, you could practice like being aware of your breathing and visualize yourself, you know, taking one breath, two breaths, exhaling, stopping that exhale and just, just say bang to yourself <laughs> and then, and then repeat, just sort of developing like a, a process and a plan and, and following that plan versus kind of winging it um, and just sort of going as hard as you can and then trying to hit the targets. <laughs> I, would, I would urge people to not shoot really slow and not shoot really fast, <laughs> but, but shoot with, a good, with good consistency and they're gonna get the best of both worlds because they're gonna hit they're gonna hit targets and they're gonna get off the shooting range and onto the next stage quickly. Um, and I think that's the pro the problem with just rattling off your shots and taking the penalty is that it's just you 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 can hit some of those targets shooting not a whole lot slower than as fast as you can. And you will, if you try. 